So hi, Rick. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, just a uh, good conference to yes. be back again. Yes. Uh, welcome back again for our GCF of main event here in Vancouver. So maybe we can start off by just giving us a bit of overview about your company, Contango Or. So Contango is developing a couple of different projects in Alaska. Uh, our flagship project right now is uh, called the Mancho Project. It's a joint venture with uh, Kinross. Uh, we own 30%, they own 70%. Uh, we found a deposit, it's roughly a million ounces of gold at eight grams per ton, uh, open pit mining scenario. Um, we selected Kinross as our partner because they have an underutilized mill at Fort Knox. So we can simply mine our ore, run of mine, put it in a truck and haul it up to the Fort Knox mill and process it up there. That avoided a huge amount of capital to build it, you know, avoiding not building our own mill and, and processing facility, um, and the huge timeline to get into production. Usually it would take five or six years to permit mm. something. We managed to get all that done in, uh, inside of a year. So um, we'll be producing gold next year. We're mining today and we're uh, stockpiling the ore today. Um, and by April next year, we, we plan to be processing the ore. Good to hear. So, um, you have quite a lot of experience, I know, from the operating or managing projects in Alaska. So, so why always in the, working in Alaska? What what do you like about the mining over there? Well, it's it's great uh, great geology. I'm a geologist by background. Um, we know Alaska well. I grew up there. Uh, we have good relationships with a lot of the Alaskan Native uh, people, and the, whether that's a corporation or in this in the case of Contango and and uh, working on the Tetlin lands, it's a tribal organization. So, uh, you know, we've done, always done a good job of uh, communicating what we're doing. Uh, we're, uh, we've always done a good job of training and, and hiring locally. Um, and I think that's something that uh, the Alaska Native groups uh, appreciate. Um, at Bancho, we'll be producing about 67,000 ounces of gold per year for our share. And that will generate about $50 million of free cash flow. Uh, the tribal organization will receive a 3% royalty. Uh, on the full production, not 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 just our share of production, but 100% share. So that's uh, 3% of 225,000 ounces of annual production a year. So uh, a very substantial amount of cash flow for the tribe as well as to our shareholders. Good. Uh, recently, you also announced some pretty uh, exciting news. You already started operating uh, your mine over there, but you're also starting uh, to do a surface drilling at the uh, Lucky Shot Mine. Can you tell us what's the potential there? Yeah, so we started, uh, we actually just got uh, uh, the drill pad set up. We haven't gotten a lot of drilling done. Only winter came quick in Alaska. Uh, we joke in Alaska that we have four seasons, uh, winter, <laughs> June, July, and August. <laughs> okay. And uh, definitely it was that way this year. Um, but we are all set up uh, to do the surface drilling next summer and to do the underground drilling next summer. We've got our uh, underground development uh, uh, completed. So we'll plan about a $15 million program starting next year in the summertime and uh, drill all year round underground um, and develop a mine plan uh, where we can produce between 30 and 40,000 ounces of gold a year and then over a year or two ramp that up to 50 to 60,000 ounces of gold. Um, this was a historic mine that uh, uh, produced gold uh, in period 1928 to 1942. Produced about a quarter million ounces of gold at 40 grams per ton, so very, very high grade. Um, and we're simply drilling down dip from where it was historically mined. So okay. um, all of our infrastructure is in place. We're a fully permitted mine site. So if we repeat what we've done at Mancho, which is run of mine material, loaded onto trucks and haul it up to Fort Knox, uh, we have no more permitting to do. Mm. Uh, and we don't have to build a mill because Fort Knox has a very large mill that's underutilized. So we're simply taking advantage of our joint venture partners um, milling expertise and, and of course the fact that the mill is there and, and fully permitted. Great, this is really good news indeed. So in summary, why should investors consider investing into your company right now? Well, we're, um, we're uh, New York Stock Exchange listed. Uh, we trade about two to three million shares a day, so we have good liquidity. Uh, next year we'll be generating $50 million of free cash flow. We have less than 10 million shares outstanding, so that's $5 a share in free cash flow. That's just for Mancho. When we get Lucky Shot up and running in a couple of years, we'll probably be seven, eight dollars of free cash flow. Uh, I'm planning. I, I own about seven and a half percent of the stock. Yeah. 
I'm planning on, uh, on uh, looking at a dividend policy, uh, not next year, but probably in 2025, where we would dividend a dollar per share uh, to, to uh, wow. shareholders. And uh, I think that's, it's unique in the junior mining <laughs> space Indeed, for sure. Yeah. Um, and so a dollar per share would be a nice healthy cash flow. That would still leave us um, a lot of money to continue to do what we do well, which is explore. We, we, we have a demonstrated track record of uh, delivering good projects, good quality projects, and then partnering with major companies, in this case, Kinross, that has an underutilized mill. So we'll, we'll keep, keep executing that plan. Thank you indeed, Wei, for sharing your story with us here today. And I bet a lot of investors will be starting to follow your how your development goes in the next 12 months. Perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Cheers. Take care, Wei.